Hi folks, this is Steve Shimon for the Skywash Media News Channel, and here is what is happening for the third week of July 2018. Let's get started. While searching for the location of the elusive planet X in our solar system, scientists have discovered the presence of 12 previously unknown moon-sized objects that are orbiting the planet Jupiter. The size of the newly discovered moons are said to be less than two miles in diameter, including one moon with a highly unusual orbit. Nine of these moon objects circle Jupiter in a wide retrograde orbit, which means they move in the opposite direction that the planet rotates. It takes them about two Earth years to orbit Jupiter. Two of the moons are part of a more inner group that circle the planet in the prograde, or the same direction as it spins. This group completes a single orbit around Jupiter in one Earth year. The twelfth moon follows a strange prograde orbit which does not belong to any of the known group of moons. A science team for the Carnegie Institution for Science is using a 4-meter telescope attached to the largest camera ever built to search the skies for Planet X. The telescopic instrument located atop the Andes Mountains in Chile is called the Dark Energy Survey. It is capable of capturing a much wider patch of sky in a single exposure, in a quest to observe the outer solar system. So there it is. The hunt for Planet X continues, and in the process, previously unknown bodies are being discovered in the solar system, and it's happening despite NASA's ongoing claims that there can be no Planet X in existence. As reported in previous Skywatch videos, there have been unprecedented events continuing around the world related to oceans in opposition, the sloshing of the oceans, which are inexplicably caused by what is considered to be a severe earth wobble and an abnormal axial tilt. Authorities have explained the mysterious movement of the waters as occurring due to abnormal atmospheric weather patterns and disturbances but the explanations they provide are obsolete and no longer believable. On July 16th, a five-foot tsunami struck the islands of Mallorca and Menorca on the Mediterranean coast of Spain. The waves hit numerous cities along the coast of both islands. The phenomenon is being classified as a tsunami-like event known as a meteor tsunami created by disturbances in air pressure due to fast-moving weather events. This is how it looked as it crashed ashore. Last year, a similar event happened in the Netherlands, but scientists admit that these events are a mystery. They do not fully understand why they occur. Identifying a meteor tsunami presents a unique set of challenges to scientists, since the characteristics of these waves are similar to the tsunami phenomenon. According to the NOAA, the uncertainties of these unprecedented events are making them difficult to predict or to amply warn the public before they strike the shore. Last month, scientists in western Greenland pulled up cylinders of ice at work camps located one mile above sea level, showing that the vast sheet of ice covering Greenland is melting faster than at any time in the last 450 years. 
Greenland has been losing more ice through melting on its surface and through iceberg breaks at its periphery. In the northwestern portion of Greenland lies the community of Innersut, where an enormous iceberg looms over the island community. The iceberg is so large that it is grounded on the sea floor. The 180 residents of the town are on standby for evacuation for fears that the calving of the ice could result in a tsunami. The iceberg is being monitored and the Danish Royal Navy is standing by to evacuate residents should the iceberg show signs of collapsing. A blistering heat wave is affecting much of the northern hemisphere this summer. Japan, which has experienced unprecedented disasters one after another in July, including devastating floods that claimed hundreds of lives, a dramatic landslide, and a strong earthquake, is now experiencing a deadly heat wave that has increased in intensity. Temperatures in both western and eastern Japan have been hovering between 100 and 110 degrees on the heat index with reports of over 10,000 people suffering from heat stroke and exhaustion. The record heat is affecting relief operations in regions that suffered historic rainfall and resulting floods and landslides. The historic floods were nothing short of apocalyptic. A heat wave in Sweden is getting so bad that the country has now sent out official warnings about extremely high temperatures. Sweden's National Weather Agency issued a Class 2 alert for extremely high temperatures, the most serious temperature warning for the country. The heat is so intense that wildfires are breaking out within the Arctic Circle. Tens of thousands have been warned to remain inside and close windows and vents to avoid smoke inhalation from fires that are raging across the country. Temperatures in Scandinavia, including Sweden, are hovering more than 20 degrees above normal for July. In California, the ongoing wildfires are causing a cluster of mysterious rashes. There is something in the air that is causing severe reactions. The exact cause of the rashes has not been determined, although medical professionals have indicated that sun exposure may have been a contributing factor to the outbreak. A thick plume of African dust arrived along the Gulf of Mexico on a 5,000 mile journey to parts of the United States. The dusty air mass pushed westward off Africa into the tropical Atlantic Ocean. The Saharan air layer is typically located between 5 and 20,000 feet above the Earth's surface and is transported westward by bursts of strong winds that are located in the central and western Atlantic. The dusty particles created some vivid sunset skies over eastern Texas, right here in Louisiana, and across portions of the southeastern United States. Volcanic activity is escalating and showing signs of continued unrest as geological movement intensifies. Krakatoa in Indonesia is displaying intense explosions and off-the-scale seismicity as shown in this photograph provided to Volcano Discovery. Explosive sounds are being heard 25 miles from the epicenter. The explosions are of both Strombolian and Vulcanian intensity, 
from the summit crater. The earth and mountainous terrain is moving in Grand Teton National Park, a short distance from Yellowstone. Cracks and fissures have opened up in the large buttress located above the hidden falls. The crack is more than 100 feet long and runs horizontally along a wall that is 100 feet in height. The crack is being monitored daily with consultation from specialists working for the U.S. Geological Survey. The falls has been quartened off and closed to the public indefinitely. The U.S. Geological Survey is reporting that the ongoing volcanic activity at the Kilauea volcano on the Big Island of Hawaii is unprecedented in the past 200 years, according to observations from the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. It is the largest sequence of collapse events in the past two centuries, and it is also the longest eruption in the East Rift Zone in the past 500 years. In the lower East Rift Zone, it is the most voluminous eruption in the past two centuries, with lava pouring across the ground on a consistent daily basis. The emission rate of sulfur dioxide is the highest ever measured at the Kilauea. These lava surges on Hawaii's Big Island have become an increased concern during the volcano's 11-week eruption which has destroyed more than 700 homes and structures. Explosions are occurring at the crater every 30 to 35 hours. The Big Island has grown by nearly 700 acres as the lava enters the sea. One of the more devastating concerns related to a changing climate involves drought and its effects on both wildlife and the environment. In rural Australia, the drought has become so severe that even native animals who usually adapt to the harsh conditions are starving to death. For many parts of the Australian continent, it is the worst drought in the past 116 years. In south-central Australia, the total rainfall is averaging between 1 and 3 inches for the entire year. As a result, cows are perishing in the mud as they attempt to get water from dried up dams. The animals are becoming increasingly desperate. The drought is affecting these regions both environmentally and financially. There is a water crisis looming down under which will become increasingly severe as the climate becomes more erratic. Thanks for watching and remember to keep looking to the sky.